Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sev256 and we're back again with another tutorial for Xenoverse 2 and how to create your own custom transformation. Now, every file you guys see on my screen right now is going to be linked down in the description below so you'll be able to have access to everything that I'm using so this way you can follow along. Uh, I said follow along. <laughs> follow along. I'm sorry guys. Um, but either way, we're going to go ahead and start with our very first folder we're going to open up and it's this V4.01. Okay, now this is actually a Zora's Aura installer that we're going to be running. Okay, because we want to use a custom, you know, Aura for our transformation. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and run the installer. It's just press next. It's really, really easy. Um, it does it all on its own. Okay, and it should be done. There we go. And then we're going to go back out and then we're gonna go to lazy bones transformations um so don't worry about actually using his, his actual transformations um you can use this now as a resource he's given permission for everyone to use it as a resource you just have to credit him if you're gonna you make some kind of mod that you're gonna put on you know uh xenoverse mods website okay um so we're gonna actually just run the installer that's all we're gonna do we're just gonna run his installer and we're gonna do next uh anime style auras yes uh, keep that the same. I like putting this on low drain for Kaioken. And let's just do a hair and eye change, okay? And, I mean, don't do uh, tail animations. I don't like doing that right now, um, just because you can install tails later on. And if you do it there, it even warns you not to do it. So, just if you're going to have a tail on your character, do it after the fact, okay? So, next and next. Still going to run everything to install it. And then we should be done in three. Yep, there we go. Done. Okay. Now we're not going to actually be installing any of the actual transformation mods. We just wanted to run the installer so all the necessary files and animations we need will be in the game at that point. Okay. So we're done with those two, uh, you know, folders now. And what I want you guys to do, if you don't already have it, uh, download the XV2 skill creator. I'll probably put that link down in the description uh, below. But I'm gonna open up mine right now. And let's see, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do open. And then we're gonna find our transformation tutorial folder I'm using. Don't mind all these folders, guys. I'm really bad at being organized on my computer. Uh, but here we go. So we're gonna go open up the sample folder. And we're gonna click the sample X2M, not the sample costume, but the sample X2M. Okay? Now you guys see this is already pre populated with a whole bunch of information. And that's because this X2M and the sample costume that you saw, you know, when I tried, was trying to open this up, is from a guy named Hayes Destruction. I'll probably put his channel name somewhere in the video up top. Um, but he created two tutorials on how to make custom transformations from scratch, literally. Um, and he created sample files that I'm using right now. So this way, you know, if you're not used to making the X2M yet, it'll already be pre-made for you, for you. And you just have to adjust it to it the way you want it, okay? Um, now, his channel is also going to be linked down in the description below. Or you may be able just to click the name of the channel when I put it in the video. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it. Um, but he has a really detailed uh, two-part tutorial on how to do everything from literally scratch. that are long, but they're detailed. Um, so if you want to check out his channel and you want to see what he's going to be coming out with later on, you can definitely check him out. Um, but we're going to be using his sample file just so you guys know, okay? Um, right now, we're going to change the name uh, to whatever you want to make the uh, transformation called uh i'm gonna make mine potential unleashed to spirit mode okay spirit mode is something i have for my own you know cac i made it it's just a random a random you know thought i have while i was making the character um you can make it name it whatever you want you can name it poop whatever i don't care <laughs> you know just make a name for it uh, then you want to change the author name just so you know you're creating it. Uh, version, keep it one. Doesn't really matter unless you're going to make multiple versions. Um, and then the GUID. So I like clicking this a few times just to make sure it's not con going to conflict with any other GUID in the game. Um, and then what I'm going to do is copy the name and put it, put it in the skill name. Put it in the description. Now we're going to go to transformation names. Okay. Transformation names, um, you can name it literally the same exact thing on both transformations. Uh, Hayes was creating a two-step transformation. Uh, you don't have to do it like this. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, you can make it, you know, just so you know which uh, stage you're on, you know, an individual name. So I'm going to name uh, Zero, which is Transformation 1. 
uh, pot potential unleashed. And then entry one, I'm gonna make spirit mode just so I know what level my character is on. Okay, pretty easy like that. Um, so this part is completely done. You named it, you created it the way you want it to be. So we're done here. Now we're gonna go into files. Okay, and this is an important part here. Okay, so first we're gonna go over to tools and import skill directory. We're just going to go ahead and stick with making a two-step transformation. So we want to go down until we find Super Saiyan 2. Um, let's see, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 2, uh, here we go. Okay, you can even use Super Vegeta, but Super Saiyan 2 would be a lot easier for you guys. Um, so let's do that. And then it's going to open up this output directory window. Okay, so you're going to click Sample, and then you're going to click Skill Files. Just so it knows where to export the... Uh, the skill files that you are trying to get right now, okay? So select the folder, it says skill directory imported. Good, we're done right there. Then we're gonna go over to the skill files section right here, click change, and then if you're not already on it, you want to have the uh, skill files folder selected, and then select folder, and now that's gonna tell the X2M where to get the animations uh, for the character uh, for the transformation, okay? Then this additional data uh, section right here. Now this is for uh, you to put what hair, what eyes, what forehead the character is going to be using. I already have mine pre-made, so I know where uh, um, I know where my character files are going to be, and I know what files I'm going to be using. Um, but I'll show you guys right here. So if I do sample right here, and then sample, and then data, and then data again, and then care uh, care folder and hum. These are all the files that I'm going to be using. Now, they both have two separate ID numbers. That's so the game will tell, you know, which files they need to use for the transformation, okay? So mine is set to 778 and 779, just not to conflict with any other, you know, files that may be in the game. Like a lot, a lot of Lazy Bones transformations, they use the 200s and I think a couple 300s. Um, so I made it a high number, so this way it won't conflict with any other uh, model uh, files in the game, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and go to change, and then we're gonna go back to sample, and then we're just gonna click data one time. Don't click the second data folder because the uh, directory needs to know that, uh, where the data folder with the actual files is gonna be. Um, so just do select, and that's done, okay? Now the custom or costume, I think it's custom or costume, I can't really tell. Um, this is where it's gonna have all the you know necessary coding for the transformation. Uh, what EAN to use, what camera uh, EAN to use. This is all Super Saiyan 2, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys something, and this is gonna be kind of the advanced step um, right now, just so you guys can get it out of the way, okay? Actually, you know what, I take that back, I take that back, Never mind. no, we're just gonna make it really simple so you guys can see. Um, we'll do the we'll do the second part later on after we get it done. Um, so this is all the uh, animation, you know, information, the uh, transformation needs. IDB is the skill shop information. If you want to make it a purchasable purchasable skill, uh, just change the buy to one, so you're not using a whole bunch of your money. Um, make it sim or sif if you're gonna have sif files in the transformation. I just have uh, same mail files, so that's why I'm only doing sim. Um, pup. This is all the stats that the character will get when they transform um, for entry one or transformation one, transformation two, and then transformation. So this is why we installed the Aura uh, files from the beginning, because we're going to have our own custom transformation. Um, this is why this is set to use custom Aura, okay? So right now, first I'm going to go ahead and go back, 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 and back, and back. And we're going to go back into the Aura file, which is the V4.0, and do IDs, okay? So IDs, uh, Azura was kind enough to make an Aura a list with all the information you need for each Aura and which numbers you need to put in. Um, so what I'm going to do is, let's see, let's make it, let's make it this, let's do this. Okay, let's do that, and we'll do that right there. Um, so for entry or transformation one, I'm just going to make it a simple, you know, the regular old potential unleashed. Uh, where are you? Where are you there? Nope, that's the ultimate. I don't want the ultimate. I want the awakening. Okay, and then for transformation two, we're going to now use the lightning potential unleashed. This is pretty much potential unleashed, but with lightning, just like it says. Okay, um, so we're going to change the boost start to 150. 
We're gonna change the boost into 152. Oops, I made it 158 still. 152. We can change the Kuroku max to 154. The Henshin in to 237. And we're gonna change the boot boost to loop to 151. Oops, geez, I can't type today. And the key high charge, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> We're going to change it to 153. And the Henshin start is going to be 8713. Okay, so that is the custom aura implemented into the transformation. And then we're going to go ahead and change this right down here, the BCS hair color. We're going to change it to minus one because if you're like me, I like to have my own color for the hair and the eyes and the hair. I like, you know, making sure the transformation is going to use that um, and not, you know, just some pre, you know, generated color that the uh, game is going to want to use for it. So if you change it to minus one and minus one, it'll keep the same hair color as the DYT that's going to be used for the models that you chose, okay? Um, also, yeah, we got to go back and do that for the first transformation. So minus one and minus one, okay? There we go. Now, the BCS, this is important right here, okay? This is so the game will actually be able to load the skill uh, X2M for your, you know, your transformation. Now, I don't know exactly why you need to connect an X2M costume, but if you guys open up the same X2M that we're using for the sample right now, you're already going to have this embedded Super Saiyan 4 to red entry, okay? We're just going to go ahead and remove it for right now, okay? We're going to leave it like that. And then this is going to be another program that you need to open or already have. It's going to be the costume creator. If you don't have it, I'll make the link down in the description below so you can download it. Okay. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and open. And we're going back to our tutorial folders. Uh, let's find it again. Okay. Tutorial folder. And let's see. Sample. And we're going to do sample costume. Okay. Now, we're going to change this to the same name that we used for the skill, Potential Unleashed to Spirit Mode. And then just so I know the character I'm going to be using, I'm going to type the character name. Okay. And we're going to change the author to me. Okay. And then change the GOID again, just so that's done. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and go to Files. And we're going to go to Change. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to go ahead and go to sample again, and then data. And then you want it to stick right here, just like we were on before. You want to keep this data folder unclicked. So select, and that's done. If you have a female, you know, human or female scene, you can do that for them again. But I don't have any female model files I'm going to be using. So we're going to leave that alone. And then we're going to go to hum and sim. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and I'll open back up our tutorial folder. And we're going to go to the main page and we're going to select pre-made BCS. Now, this is from a tutorial uh, that someone made. I can't remember their name on the top of my head, but once I do the editing for this video, you'll probably see their name, you know, in the video. Um, I'm not sure if they have a channel, but they'll at least have a Discord name that you'll be able to find them on. Um, but this is a pre-made uh, BCS that we're going to be using now, you see how it says model value 280? This is because the person that made the tutorial was using the model ID number 280. We're not, okay? So our files, uh, our model files are gonna be using 778 and 779. Now, if you're just opening this up in a regular old notepad, you can go to edit and then uh, let's go to replace. Yeah, we're gonna do replace. We're gonna change 280 to 778. And replace all. Okay. Now Z280 turn to 778. And then we're going to go to edit again and select all. We're going to copy. And then we're going to go back into our skill creator, or not skill creator, costume creator, I should say. And we're going to highlight this entire BCS that's already in there because we're not going to use that. It doesn't have the right sections for just the hair, eyes, and forehead. It only has the bust, but we're not using we're not using the bust files here. Okay. Um, so we're going to clear that out, and we're going to copy. Okay. So that's for the first transformation, and then we're going to go back to part set one, which is the second transformation. And now we're going to do it again, but it said the model value is going to be changed from 778 to 779. And we're going to do that the same way that we did it for uh, the first BCS that we did. 
we're, we're gonna do replace all we're gonna make it seven seven eight and we're gonna change that to seven seven nine place all see now seven seven eight was turned into seven seven nine now we're gonna select all again copy and now we're going to delete the BCS and the transformation for the second stage and copy now this is for 779 so all the IDs that we are going to use for the transformation have now been placed into the BCS and we are done for that part and again if you're going to have a female you know saying or human you can do the same thing here if not just you know unclick enable um, Namek, Frieza, uh, Majin male, Majin female, we're not going to do any of those. IDB, you don't need to do that part. And we're going to go ahead and save. And then this time I'm going to name it, let's see. We're just going to name this uh, Spirit Mode. Uh, costume. And I'm going to put my character name just so I know who it is. And we're going to do save. Okay, so the costume creator is done, but we're just going to minimize it. And we're going to go back into the skill creator. And now right here, remember we stopped at the BCS and we cleared out that first X2M costume that was embedded. We got rid of that. So now we're just going to set. Okay. And we're going to go to sample. And we're going to choose the costume that we just made. Okay. So we're going to do that right there. And instead of link, don't do link. You're not going to do link. You're going to do embed. So it's embedded in the actual, you know, transformation. Now, pretty much, if you're just wanting to stop right here and use the Super Saiyan 2 uh, animation for the transformation, we're done. Um, I'm going to show you how to put in your own custom animation after we see if the Super Saiyan 2 one that we modified is finished, okay? So we're going to go ahead and save the file. And we're going to name this uh, Spirit Mode Transformation. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Had a burp. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put the character name. There we go. And that's it. We're done. Okay. Now, if you guys have Skill Creator and cost Costume Creator, you should have the installer. Um, if not, again, that will be put in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and install the transformations that we just used are made i said used sorry we haven't used these yet and you're not going to install the costume okay because it's embedded when you click the transformation it'll ask you or tell you that the following model will be installed which is the costume that you just made okay and mod successfully installed just to make sure nothing went wrong i like to close it out and then reopen it to make sure both are now there so so this is the transformation and this is the costume okay that's how you know and now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump into uh, Xenoverse 2, and we're going to go ahead and see if the transformation worked. It should now have, you know, the hair and eyes and the forehead that I'm going to be using. And um, it's also going to be using the Super Saiyan 2 animation, so you guys will see that once I get right back to you, okay? Okay, guys, so we're back now, and I'm going to show you that uh, the Super Saiyan 2 transformation that we use now is going to be used for our own custom transformation. So remember the first stage was Potential Unleashed, uh, so he should have the regular old Potential Unleashed aura, you know, when we transform first, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so Potential Unleashed, all okay, right, there we go. Has the rocks and stuff and everything. Don't know why, <laughs> but he has the rocks. Now we're gonna go ahead and power up and we're gonna do our second stage. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and transform again. Second stage, now this is spirit mode. You know, just bigger hair, something really, really simple. But you see guys, now he has the lightning aura and we use the Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 1 animation for the transformation now. Okay, so this works, this is all done. If you want a super basic transformation like this, it's really, really easy. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move forward and show you how to create your own uh, Transformation with uh, the animations used from lazy bones uh, Mods, okay. All right. See you guys in a few. Okay, so we're back now and as you guys can see we have two skill creator uh, Windows open right now the first one on the right is the one that we made and the second one on the left is a brand new one It's blank is clear it has nothing in it right now um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up one of Lazy Bones mods now. And let me go back to my resources, uh, Lazy Bone Transformations, New Transformations. 
and we're gonna do hair change transformations right now okay and then we're gonna do normal so since we have a two-stage transformation i'm going to need to pick which animation i want to use for the first stage of the transformation um let's go ahead and let's do hmm which one would be good for hmm let's see let's see let's see okay let's just do we'll do super vegeta okay we're gonna do super vegeta you know, just because I like him, you know, holding up his fist to his face and doing that. Okay. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and go to files and then tools and then import skill directory. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and find, let's see. Oops, sorry. Jumped ahead, guys. I do apologize. I jumped ahead. So in this part, you do need to specifically install uh the transformations you're going to be using the animations for so the skill creator can pull out the skill files that you need okay so since i jumped forward a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and go back and do that right now so you guys can see it so go to the plus and we're gonna go back to the resources main folder and then lazy bone transformations new transformations hair transformations and normal okay so we're gonna use uh super vegeta 4 and I know since we're going to use a second animation too, I'm just going to go ahead and grab another one and let's do blue evolution as well. If you, uh, if you click one at, uh, first and then hold control and click another one, it'll select the second one as well. And then you can just do open. It's going to tell you that it's going to, uh, install the modes in silent mode. Just do yes. Um, and then both animations or transformations were installed now. Okay. Um, so we can close this out now and we're going to close this out open up a second window for skill creator again okay i'll put it over here now we can go to tools actually now sorry oops now we're going to open and since super vegeta was the first one we selected we're going to select it again go to files tools import skill directory and now now his animations or transformations should be installed which they are so we're gonna do super vegeta 4 okay take that one go back to your uh resources for your transformation go to custom animation i went ahead and before we started the video i made two specific files for both animations i'm going to be using we're going to go to super vegeta and select so that one's there that's done good and then we're going to go to um let's see we're gonna go ahead and go back and find who let's see well, no we don't even need to do that sorry guys we don't need to even go ahead and open up a second one um we're just gonna do open skill directory again and we're gonna go to blue evolution one more uh for the second animation again i'm gonna go to my pre-made folder for blue evolution and import those files too okay so that's all done easy peasy all right now just so we can get this out of the way and we can get onto the coding part i'll show you what you need to do next um so you're gonna go to open and now you're gonna pick one of these all transformations okay doesn't have to be these three right here it can be these two these three or uh these guys down here anything that has a multiple you know transformation you know kind of stages um you can choose um, let's see, I want to choose this one right here, Super Saiyan All, and that's good. It's the uh, Blue Evolution variant. Then we're going to go to Custom, and we're literally just going to copy and paste over to the one transformation that we made, okay? So, copy, paste, copy, and paste, copy, and paste. And we're just, even though it's the same thing, we're gonna do copy and paste again, just so you guys can get in the habit. Copy the EAN, paste it there. Copy this e, uh, camera EAN, and copy it there. The EPK we're gonna copy and place it in here. This one right here, we're gonna put right here. And we're gonna take this one right here and put it right here. Now, everything else on this side, leave alone because we only have a two-stage transformation. Um, you, this one has a nine-stage transformation. We're only going to be using two, so we're going to keep that the same. And now we can go ahead and just minimize these. And we're going to go ahead and go to our folder for our resources. Oops, that's my directory for Xenoverse 2. 
sorry. And we're gonna make this bigger again. So our custom animations now are in here in each folder so we know which one is which. That's good, okay. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot one important uh, program you guys are gonna be needing and that's Ginser um, or Ginser. I don't know how to pronounce it fully or exactly. Um, but this is important because what we're going to do next is we're going to take the animations we get, which are the BACs, and we are going to drag them over to uh, Ginser, and it's going to make a editable XML document, okay? So we need to do that for Blue Evolution as well. And there we go. And we're also, yeah, we're also going to go to our sample scale files and do in here because we're going to be editing that one specifically to have the two animations that we chose. Um, so right now you can open up the one you're using for your own transformation and Notepad++. This is the better program to be using. So if you don't have Notepad++, please get it because it is necessary. Okay, it makes everything a lot easier. So we have that open here, which is good. And let's go ahead and let's go to our Super Vegeta one because that's going to be the first stage that we're going to use. And we're going to open that one in Notepad as well. Okay. Now, this is what I want you guys to do. Um, just so uh, it makes it a lot easier for you. Um, you see right here where it says B, uh, BAC Entry IDX. There's multiple IDXs here. Okay. We're going to need to select one of them. Um, so this way we can take the animation of one of the transformations and put it in ours. Now this way, um, the way I'm going to show you how to do it is going to be really easy. Um, so this way you can find the end of where the IDX is finished um, or the BAC entry is finished. If you do uh, find, if you go to find here, I'll do it one more time for you guys. Search and then find. And then you type in IDX, I already have it here. It'll go to the next entry so you guys can know uh, where it ends right here. Okay, so this is BAC entry IDX1. But the first one is right here. This entire thing right here is the very first entry which we are going to go ahead and copy. And there. Okay, we're going to copy it. And then we're going to go to our own skill uh, BAC or XML. And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. Uh, find what? The IDX. Find next. And next. And then we're going to copy this in, or select this entire first one right here to get it. It's all selected. And then what you're going to do is paste in the one you just copied. There. So we have successfully moved over Super Vegeta's animation into our own transformation that we're using right here. Sounds a little bit confusing, but you guys will see when we're back in the Xenoverse 2. Um, and now we can go ahead and close out this uh, XML for Super Vegeta. And we can go ahead and open the Blue Evolution one. And now, there we go. That's the blue evolution one. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Find the, ooh, sorry guys, I keep having the burp. <laughs> Find the IDX and there we go. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and select the entire first one. There we go, there we go, go oh, up, 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 up. Okay, copy. And then we're gonna go back to our own, our original transformation that we're using right now. Find IDX again. Which is, this is where we're going to uh, paste this one, the new one, okay? But you want to go to the end of IDX1. You want to go to the end of it, okay? Select it all. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This usually, usually starts ending around here. Yep, there we go. Okay, which is on line 581, if you guys want to remember that. Um, and then we're going to paste, okay? Now what I like to do, because we're going to have to change something here, I like to go all the way back up to the top, select the first IDX, and then search for the one we just made again. See, so this one's zero, and which is the first, oh sorry, so this one's zero, sorry, right here. This is the first transformation, um, that's why I set to zero. Um, Xenoverse uses zero as number one. Uh, I don't know why, but it is number one. Uh, so whenever you see zero in anything for Xenoverse 2 or Xenoverse in general, just leave uh, that's number one. And then we're gonna do find IDX again, and we have another zero. So you can't have two zeros. That conflicts with the uh, coding in the game. So you have to remove zero, type one, and then we're going to save it. 
okay so we're done editing the BAC okay and then we're gonna go to our own uh, we're gonna go to our own sample scale file and we're gonna drag it over to Jinsur again and it will update the original BAC file okay that's it there it goes from it was from like three something 317 and then updated to 328 um, now we're gonna go ahead and open up our own skill creator, which is Is it that one or is it? Ah, sorry guys. I'm opening up a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sorry It was the one on the right. There we go. So this is ours because remember we had number of transformations set to two So we're gonna go back to files and we're gonna change and Just to make sure it's reset. I like to click it again and there it goes or delete it completely if you want to be sure We can delete it completely change sample skill files and select so now it should use the new BAC that we just uh, edited for the animations we wanted let's go to save again and okay this is going to overwrite it which is what we want okay now we're gonna go ahead and close out or we're gonna uninstall the original mod that we made you can even un uninstall all these right here. You don't need these anymore. Yep, get rid of these. Yep. And yep. Okay. We don't need those anymore. Then we can do our transformation, our custom transformation. And I like to close it out. Open it back up. And it's there. It's, it's there. Okay, cool, cool. So let's go back to our Xenoverse skill directory, or Xenoverse 2 directory in general and open it up i like to make sure everything was neat and ready to go yep it looks like yeah well, there are all our files 7 to 78 and 7 to 79 they're all there now so let's go ahead and jump back into xenoverse 2 and you're gonna see now that the super saiyan 2 transformation that we used as our base now has super vegeta and blue evolution animations for um, both stages of the transformation okay see you in a few Okay guys, so we're back now and I'm gonna show you that our Super Saiyan 2 transformation that we use as the base now again has Super Saiyan our Super Vegeta and Blue Evolution animations as the thing you're gonna see whenever your character transforms, okay? So this is the first stage. Okay. See, same thing, just like we saw in the beginning when we first made the transformation. It is now using the Super Vegeta animation for stage one. I'm gonna go ahead and power up. And now we're gonna go ahead and transform with the blue evolution animation as the new thing we're gonna see. Okay, there we go. So all done, that's how easy it is. It's just a little time consuming because you have to go back and forth, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Um, and you can pretty much create whatever you want, you know, following the way I did it. Now guys, make sure if you have any questions, leave the uh, questions down in the comment section below. I'm not available all the time, but I'll try to answer the questions if I do see it. Um, but yeah, you know, get ready to make your own stuff, okay guys? Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you leave a like down below, I would appreciate that. Or subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more things I want to teach you guys later on, okay? See ya!